guys, it's Madeline. It's Samantha. And we're the Calion Twins. Welcome, Welcome back, back to Squared. Samantha and I post videos of Squared every single Friday. Give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below Squared if you haven't done so already. So today's video is going to be a little mini closet tour and along with some organization tips that we like to do in our closet. Now this is one of our closets. We have another one outside in the hallway, but that's like not really the cleanest yeah. right now. So we're just going to show you guys this closet. And we know it's springtime and with springtime comes like spring cleaning and we just like finished getting rid of so many clothes because springtime, last year's clothes, some of them don't fit us or they're not in stock. So we decided to show you guys our newly organized closet. So let's get on with the video. So first off in our closet, we have all of our sweaters up here. I know it's not like the neatest folding ever, but you know, we can live with that. So what we did was we folded all of our sweaters to go up here because we found that when we hang them on the hangers over here, they take up a lot of space. So this is the most um, practical way we can store our sweaters. But there is like a downside to it when you have to like get a sweater. There's like a chance that it all will come falling down. And, and we're really short, so we need a stool to get up there. And when you want to put the sweaters back, it's kind of really high to reach. So you got to make that sacrifice, but it does give our closet a lot more space. And like a fun fact, majority of these sweaters are like our school sweaters. We've learned to collect them over the four years and that's why. Which is a bad thing yeah. if, you're, if you don't have that much closet space like, like us. sweater hoarders. But yeah, that's why we have a bunch of sweaters here and we're lacking color. That's what I realized. All of our sweaters are like very monotone and very dark colors. So we should really step out of our comfort zone. <laughs> So right over here, we have like our long sleeve tops. Half of these are for our blouses, which you can see here, and they're for like more dressier occasions, and we don't only wear them often, so they're just tucked on to the side. These are our long sleeve sweaters, our long sleeves tops. So our first tip for you is to go through your closet every couple of months. We've been doing that ever since like, I don't know, the past year, past two years, and we still find more clothes to give away. So this is like more of like a reduced amount, which is kind of sad, which means we buy away too many clothes, but it gives you a lot of space in your closet and you know that everything in here is something that you actually would wear and then towards the end here if you guys can see it we have more of our outerwear like our jackets and we have here my really fuzzy sweater that madeline hates but i love i've only worn it one time but i just like knowing i have like this really fuzzy sweater in case i do need it if you guys want a little tip for clothes that you don't really want what we did is we took a whole bunch of our clothes to this place called plato's closet here in canada i don't know there might be something like that in your area but but basically what you do is you give your old clothes, they go through them, they choose the ones that they want, and then they give you money for them, which is like the perfect thing. So you can buy more clothes to put in your closet, which kind of defeats the purpose, but we did get a lot of money back for the clothes we gave to them, and our closet is more organized. So moving on to the bottom, yes, this closet isn't that big, but like it looks even smaller because Samantha and I share clothes, so like all of our clothes are stuffed in here. So on the bottom we have what are these? <laughs> They're just like the overflow. The overflow from up there. So we have like these sweaters, we haven't been worn. I've worn both of them. You've never worn oh, any I've of never them. Worn them. You know what? I actually don't really like them anymore. That's great to know that we just wasted money on them. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah. So down here is like our overflow of sweaters. These are like more of like our knit sweaters, guys. This is like my favorite knit sweater and the other ones somewhere here. They're from Brandy Melville. They have like the best sweaters in my opinion and yeah more knit sweaters we kind of put them down there for now because you know summer is coming up and winter yeah. is kind of gone so those are the ones that we don't really wear often during the season here i don't know if you can tell this is all our denim and plaid so we have i realize now we have a bunch of denim jackets and this isn't, isn't even all of our denim jackets so we have all of these denim jackets and all of these flannels and plaid and more jackets because you know we always need denim jackets because they all look the same. Next over here is we have our dresses. Now mostly dresses, we wear them to church. So they're more like of those formal kind of dresses. And this part, we haven't got to like organizing it by style yet. So, so as you can see here, our church dresses, a couple of them, and then you go into like summer dresses and like <laughs> more formal dresses. And here are some summer dresses that we just got. Then church dresses and then more formal dresses at the back. So another tip I have is that to hang your dresses and also hang your blouses. Before we used to fold our blouses and we found that they got really wrinkled and we have to iron them. But especially since we're always in a rush because we kind of wake up late and we're kind of late sometimes, it's easier to have them hanging so that that way your clothes will be wrinkle free. Next, moving up here, all of our bottoms even even flows down to this shelf right here. So as you can see, yes, we have a lot of denim. We have like a denim problem. We have black denim, we have big jeans. 
We have a lot of sweatpants, a lot of jeans, shorts. It does look like there's doubles of them. That's because we each have one of one of each. The pants that are up here are the ones we don't wear as often as the ones down here. This is because we're short and we can't reach up there. So down here we have our t-shirts and some tank tops. A lot of our t-shirts and tank tops go in another dresser that's not here. Um, but this is kind of like the overflow because we do have a lot of t-shirts. That's why I find. We have a lot of t-shirts and less blouses. So this is just like stuff that don't fit in our other uh, dresser area. That's only a few of our t-shirts. And under here is basically just more storage for bags. And what's in here, Emma? Junk. Junk. These are our junk bins. I find that junk bins are a perfect tip to like keep your room or even especially your closet clean. Cause you have those things where you don't really use them every day but you don't want to throw them out. So if you have like two junk bins, then like it's perfect to hide those things. And it keeps your room and your closet really tight. That's it for the video. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you do want to see yesterday's video, click right over here. And if you want to see more from Samantha and I, click right up here. Click right over here to see last week's video and comment down below if you guys have an organized or a messy closet. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye!